Hi, I'm Kevin Higgins, and I'm a senior cloud infrastructure architect, part of the AWS professional services team. Today, I'm going to give you a high level overview of how you can manage configuration drift with AWS Systems Manager. Let's dive in. Configuration drift occurs when a system drifts or changes from its intended configuration. AWS has a growing number of tools that can help you automate the process of keeping your EC2 instances in a desired state. In this demo, we will use a combination of State Manager, AWS Config, CloudWatch Events, and AWS Lambda to ensure that the Amazon Inspector agent is installed on your EC2 instances. The general workflow is as follows. State Manager is configured to collect inventory from EC2 instances. AWS Systems Manager then sends that inventory data over to AWS Config. When a rule is evaluated and reported as non-compliant, CloudWatch will trigger a Lambda function that executes an AWS Systems Manager automation document. If the document runs successfully, Config updates the compliance status. What we're going to do today is enforce the installation of the Amazon Inspector agent on your EC2 instances. With that said, let's jump into the demo and show you how this can be accomplished. The first step is to set up the AWS Systems Manager to collect inventory information about your instances. The easiest method is to use the Setup Inventory button under the Inventory heading in Systems Manager. The wizard will let you choose which instances you can apply inventory to. By default, it will apply to all managed instances in the account. A managed instance is one that meets the requirements for AWS Systems Manager and has successfully checked in. You can set the schedule for inventory collection as well. Since this is an association, it will collect inventory as soon as this is enabled and then every 30 minutes. Once you've made all required selections, you can choose set up inventory at the bottom. The next step is to set up the AWS config rule. We'll be using one of the pre-built managed rules provided by Amazon for our example today. More specifically, we will select and use EC2 managed instance applications required. We'll step through creating this rule. As indicated in the resources section, this managed config rule is configured to target SSM managed instance inventory. If you recall, we set up Systems Manager to collect inventory for all instances and record that data. Under the rule parameters, we configure the rule to check whether a specified application is installed. In this case, it is the AWS agent. Optionally, you can specify the minimal acceptable version or limit the target platform type to apply the rule. It is important to note that the application name must be an exact match. In the next section, we can pre-stage a remediation action for this rule. This lets you select an AWS Systems Manager automation document to run against non-compliant resources. Although some AWS provided automation documents may meet your needs, I've created a custom automation document to make this process easier. All that this document does is use the AWS run command to install the AWS agent software. For the resource ID parameter, I selected the parameter defined in the automation document that will be used for targeting. AWS config needs to know how to pass the resource ID to the automation execution. In this case, I have a parameter called instance IDs defined in my automation document, which I would use for targeting instances if executing manually. Since I selected instance IDs, the parameter becomes grayed out below so I can no longer manually define values. Now, if I start the remediation process on a non-compliant resource, this automation document will be executed against the target resource. Now that the config rule has been created, it will begin evaluating resources. For the non-compliant resources, we have the option to remediate. This is a manual process though. To automate the remediation action, we can leverage Lambda and CloudWatch. I've created the following Lambda function to trigger the remediation. This Lambda function is relatively simple. When a resource is evaluated, it receives the event from CloudWatch and parses it for the new evaluation result. CloudWatch is already set up to handle compliance changes for config rules. All we needed to do was tell it which compliance rule to watch, which will invoke this function. Now, when we have AWS config evaluate the rule, the resources that are considered non-compliant will trigger the automation document via an API call. Now that we have configured the Lambda function, when we reevaluate the rule, we can see the action status changes to action execution queued, which happens as a result of the start remediation execution API call initiated from our Lambda function. If we then browse over to Systems Manager console and look at the automation executions, we can see the automation was successful for installing the AWS agent software. Once the automation execution is complete, we should see the instances listed under compliant instead of non-compliant. 
AWS Config understands when the automation execution completes and indicates the resulting status. Great, so we covered the benefits of managing configuration drifts with AWS Systems Manager, and I hope you can take advantage of it. Thank you.